What's going on everybody, Aegis B here, and it's summertime, I have another EDC update on the channel. I know I did one in like January, and most of the items are relatively the same, but if you didn't watch that one, and you're kind of curious about what changed for the summer, then this is the video for you. Now, while most of these things can fit in my pocket, carrying around a bag is super essential because it just makes it a lot easier, especially when you're commuting or going out for the day. So that's why I'm super grateful for Grams28 for reaching out and wanting to send over a bag for me. This is not a sponsored video, but I gotta say, I really, really love this bag. They sent me over their 154 City Pack. This bag is made out of full grain Italian leather. It has some good quality zippers, a pocket at the front for quick access, and a bunch of pockets inside for carrying your tech. It has enough space to hold all of the tech that I'm mentioning in this video. I do have a link down below in the description if you are interested in the bag, so go ahead and support the channel and click one of those links. Now, first up, we have the iPhone 14 Pro. I've been using this phone for like nine to 10 months, almost a year. It's hard to believe that it's already been a year, and I'm genuinely starting to finally warm up to this phone. Now, if you watch the channel, you know that I love the iPhone 13 mini, but I recently switched to the iPhone 14 Pro in order to get like longer battery life and also to take more content on my phone. And the camera on this phone is pretty top tier and that's a main reason why I switched. So I definitely keep this with me every single day whenever I'm traveling in order to do the basic phone things like emailing, text calls, all that jazz, but on top of that, take extra content. So if you are a content creator, the iPhone 14 Pro is literally the best phone that you can get in order to take content. Next up is the M1 iPad Pro. I use the 11 inch version of the M1 iPad Pro and it's my main device of choice when I'm traveling in order to get things done. Now, of course, I'm not talking about major high productive days. I just mean casually leaving the house for the day and I need to maybe check emails, maybe draft a video or plan out my month. Those kind of tasks that I can do basically any day and anywhere and I don't really need my MacBook Pro for that. And then on top of that, it's also great for other things like, you know, watching content. I'm addicted to YouTube. Wherever I am, I try to watch as much YouTube as I can or Netflix or anything like that. And the display on it is very vibrant and good looking. So I definitely make sure to keep it with me to get things done, but also catch up on content, read books, all that stuff. I have to keep it with me. And I'm so happy that it fits in the city pack. For the days that I do want to be a little bit more productive than normal, I also keep it in this keyboard case from Zag. And honestly, an iPad with a keyboard case is a game changer. And for a lot of people, can even replace your laptop that's a hot take now for listening to music and blocking out the loud kids on the train whatever i'm commuting i do use the airpods pro the generation 2 these are probably my favorite in-ear earbuds of all time the noise cancellation on this to me is unmatched by any other device that's in this category and also just the quality of it overall it sounds really really good when it's in your ear it can block out all external sounds and then also on top of the, the transparency mode just sounds really good i specifically like the gen 2 versions over the gen 1 mostly because the actual case has some killer features that are must-haves for someone like me that loses their stuff all the time so you can track the actual case in Find My. It also has a speaker so you could ping it if you lost it. Now my next EDC item that I gotta carry with me no matter where I go is my Apple Watch Series 8. Love this watch. I actually recently switched over from the Apple Watch Ultra to the Series 8 for a variety of reasons that maybe I'll go through in another video. But yeah, I genuinely like this watch for all of the things that it can do. But then on top of that, my criticism of the other Apple Watches is that the battery life sucks. But I gotta say that the Apple Watch Ultra and the Apple Watch Series 8 have a really, really good battery life. And yeah, this watch is very important to me for reminders for certain tasks that I gotta do throughout the day. It also is important for my health and you know sleep tracking, tracking my steps and exercises, reminders to take my medication from inside, outside, it doesn't matter, but I gotta have this on my wrist. Now, in terms of my camera of choice and capturing moments, I use the Sony ZV-E1. This is a very compact camera that can fit easily in this bag and pretty much any bag because it's very small, amazing, image quality and it just got the 4k 120 update so this camera can pretty much do everything that i personally need when i'm on the go on it i'm using the 20 millimeter f 1.8 by sony lens and yeah the lens and the camera fits so easily in my bag and i just need to carry it with me whenever i want to make content is it really an edc video without a key organizer i think not this is one that i picked up
them from Amazon. It's super cheap, but it feels really good quality. So I use this keychain from Keysmart. It's called the Flex or the Keysmart Flex. Hate, hate, hate dangling and loud keys i like it to be organized and fit well and easy in my pocket it can hold up to eight keys and i keep my car keys and plus my air tag on it so i can never lose it and yeah i just really like this keychain now my next item is an item that i've included in pretty much all of my last edc videos it's my louis vuitton wallet and the reason why i like it is despite how many years i've had this it still feels like i got it on the first day it just feels really really good quality the leather has held up really well there's no damage on it it's still like very like hard you gotta wrestle with it to put in the cards which i love it means that the quality is really really good and just the way that it looks it's premium it's a good feel louis vuitton makes amazing leather products so so I definitely wanted to pick this up. It holds up to, I think, seven cards you could practically fit in there. I tend to hold around six. I'm not somebody that carries cash all the time. So again, this is really, really perfect for me as well. All right, so pretty much the last thing that I do want to talk about are the charges that I carry with me. Obviously, a lot of the things I carry with me are tech, tech, has battery and batteries die some of them quicker than others and that's why it's super important to carry a charger with you so for me i carry the ugreen nexo 65 watt charger it has two usb-c chargers one usb-a charger it also has foldable prongs making it even more compact and yeah whenever i need to quickly charge my devices like my iphone or my ipad my airpods anything like that then i kind of use this because i can just charge them all at once but yeah that pretty much wraps up the video again Again, special thanks to grams 28 I appreciate you for watching and if you like the video give the video a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below your thoughts if you have any thanks so much for watching I will see you in the next one peace